All right. So for anyways, what we have is we have a tangent line. This tangent line is right here, right? And we know that since this is tangent, we know it creates a 90 degree angle with the radii. Um, the what? Radii. Radii. Radius. Radius. Right so what we, know, what we see here is, well, then can I determine, if I know that this is tangent, and that's perpendicular, can I determine what x is going to be? Well, yeah, of course you can. You can set up. Since it's a right angle, a part of a right triangle, we can create the Pythagorean theorem. So I can say 15 squared plus 5 squared equals x squared. 15 squared is 225 plus 25 equals x squared. Well, let's check. 225 plus 25 is 250 equals x squared. Then, Layla, please. I had this conversation before class, right? So x squared equals 250. Then what I simply need to do is say, all right, well, how many times um, you know, can I go ahead and write that? Um, simplify this. Now, obviously, you can use your calculator and try to approximate it. We can also break this up. Huh? OK. We can also break this up and to say, well, how many times can I break this up? So I could say 250 is going to be 25 right? <laughs> times 10. Then, can I take the square root of 25? No. Five. Can't you just like five times five is five. Square root of 10 equals x. So that would be the simplified version. If you do, if you plug in five times the square root of 10, you would get the exact same thing as the square root of 250. However, this is a simplified answer that, I, that they would probably expect for you guys to simplify and not leave an approximate answer that's in your calculator. Wait. Okay.